the core focus of, of the ALIAS program is trying to bring these advances that we've seen in unmanned aircraft into main cockpits, we really strive to have the appropriate balance between autonomy and, and human actions and, and consider them as equal agents in the process, but get the best you can out of the autonomy and the best you can out of the human. Bring them together as a team. The Army referred to this as a mission adaptive autonomy. So it's, it's there when the pilot uh, needs the aircraft to fly itself, keep it free of obstacles so the pilot can focus on more of a mission commander type role. But the pilot's also able to interact with the system to resuggest or reroute or replan on the fly. And those are powerful things to be able to do that seamlessly without having to completely shut down a system. The alias programs focusing on the human interaction pieces with that. So I think the, the reason this type of technology is important is to reduce workload, the piloting workload and let the, the mission crews concentrate on what they're really there to do, which is to either execute the medevac, the close air support mission, or whatever they're there to do. And rather than concentrate on moving controls, they can concentrate on what really needs to be done. There's still basic piloting skills that pilots will need to be trained in when they need to take control of the aircraft, air sense on how to operate around either battlefields or airfields, and that just comes with time and experience. The user interface, one of the nice things, is easily duplicated in a simulator sense where you can rehearse the missions, use the tablet, use all the same controls exactly as you would here, and I think that's a large advantage in reducing mission execution time because you can rehearse exactly everything before you get into the aircraft to fly the mission. We've chosen the Black Hawk as the platform that we want to demonstrate full integration of alias type capabilities in it. Not just wiggling the sticks, but all the circuit breakers and switches and radios in the aircraft. We want to get, integrate all of those so that the capability that alias provides to the crew member is really like a co-pilot. It can fly routes, it can plan routes, it can execute emergency procedures, uh, and it will do all that perfectly.